Celebrities want to be star athletes and star athletes want to be celebrities. When you combine the two, it makes for an exclusive list that a select few can say they are a part of. Now, when I say star athletes, I mean D1 and even NFL caliber talents. Sure, most of these guys didn't go pro, but we can only imagine what could have been. In today's video, I'm bringing you guys some of today's most iconic celebrities that had D1 football talent. All these celebrities I'm gonna list off tore it up on the field, and a few of them, trust me, are complete shockers. The Rock earned a full ride scholarship to the University of Miami where he played defensive tackle for four years. He won the national championship with Miami in 1991 and after his senior year was recruited to play in the Canadian Football League for the Calgary Stampeders. Two months into the season, he was cut by the team and returned home with $7 to his name. He didn't let that stop him from becoming the most famous WWE wrestler ever, which then led him to a lucrative acting career. Nelly was a star athlete in football, baseball, and basketball in high school. He was actually scouted by a couple Major League Baseball organizations, but never ended up getting drafted. We know him in the longest yard as a running back, but he actually played wide receiver and was known for his amazing catches. Before Blueface was telling Tatianas to bust down, he was a dual threat quarterback for his high school in Arietta, California. Being extremely thin at 6'3", 150 pounds, he was still able to put up 49 touchdowns in his two seasons and got a scholarship to play at Fayetteville State University in North Carolina. He dropped out after his freshman season, and in his remix of his hit song, Tatiana, he mentions how he neglected his football coach to chase the money and fame. Channing Tatum was quoted in high school saying, The only reason I wanted to graduate high school was to get a scholarship and play football. He accomplished that by receiving a full ride scholarship as a linebacker at Glenville State College in West Virginia. He ended up dropping out and returned home to become a male stripper. Plies was a star defensive back and wide receiver in high school where he was also crowned as the valedictorian of his class and ended up getting a D1 offer from Miami University to play receiver. He then transferred to UCF after three years and then dropped out and began his music career. Bill Cosby was a football and track star in high school and got a scholarship to run track as well as play fullback at Temple University. When asked about his football career, he said, Usually, if I had to tackle somebody, I would fall over. After his playing days, he pursued stand-up comedy, which led him to having his own TV show. He is now in prison for sexual assault and will be released in two years. Wale was a star receiver in high school and attended Robert Morris University in Virginia State for football. He was quite the egotistical wide receiver and ended up dropping out of college after arguments with coaches. He then went home to start his rapping career. Suge Knight was a first team all-conference D lineman at UNLV for two seasons, but dropped out before graduating because of his gang-banging lifestyle. A year after dropping out, he was called upon to play for the LA Rams as a replacement player in 1987 while the NFL was on strike and appeared in two games. I'm sure you guys remember his role in Straight Outta Compton as he became the cultural rap empire of the early 90s while creating Death Row Records and jump-starting the rap careers of Ice Cube and Dr. Dre. Rick Ross was a first-team all-league offensive tackle in high school and got a scholarship to play at Albany State in Georgia. He only played there for one year and wanted to pursue being an artist. He then ironically became a correctional officer where he would write rap lyrics based off of drug dealing. Terry Crews is the only one on this list that was actually drafted in the NFL. He was drafted in the 11th round as a D lineman by the LA Rams and spent five seasons in the league, racking up a grand total of three tackles. He was a bit salty with his experience in the league as he was quoted saying, it's really a cult. I'm going to say it. The NFL is a cult. 
Not sure what made him so upset, but still pretty cool that he played in the NFL. Cuevo was a left-handed dual threat quarterback for his high school team in Atlanta, Georgia. Now, a lot of people would assume that he's a bit overhyped since he is Cuevo, but he was actually a really good quarterback and received some college offers. Since then, he's had charity flag football games and has appeared in the NBA's Celebrity All-Star Game a few times, and he actually won the MVP of the game in 2018. Dr. Phil was a standout middle linebacker in high school and received a D1 scholarship to play at the University of Tulsa in Oklahoma. His success and fame shouldn't come as a surprise as he used to go to the stadium by himself at 5 in the morning to run up and down the stands for conditioning. Dr. Phil was also a part of the biggest blowout in college football history when his team lost to the University of Houston by a final score of 100-6. So that brings an end to the list of celebrities that starred in football. Most of these guys ended up dropping out of college to pursue their careers, and it kind of makes you wonder what would have happened if they kept playing. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want more content like this, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll be making these kinds of videos every two to three days. Blow up that comment section for me and give me some ideas for my future videos. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.